Jackets. My name is Isaiah Duran, and this is Colton High's very own. We will provide you with a variety of updates about school, weather, local, and even worldwide stories. Please join us for the club and sports meeting segment managed by Nicole Lambert. Nicole? Hi, my name is Nicole Lambert, and I'm here with your club and sports meetings. Cross Club meets on Mondays at 3.30 p.m., Band Bug Club meets on Mondays at 3 p.m. Wellness Club meets on Tuesdays at 3.30 p.m. AP Honors Biology Club meets on Thursdays during lunch. And Marine Biology Club meets on Thursdays at 2.15. Have a good day and next is Nico Cisneros. Hello Yellow Jackets, I'm Nico Cisneros here with your school announcements. Link Crew is doing a Link with Link Crew every Monday at 2.15. This started January 25th and will end March 29th. Yearbooks are still on sale for the price of $90 until March 19th, and then the price will go up to $95 on March 20th. You can sponsor a senior by emailing gtimprints.com with an order request. You must provide a name and picture, or you can DM them on Instagram at gtprints. 20% of the profits made will go to C go to CHS Senior Graduation Festivities. Now to Isaiah with COVID updates. Thank you, I'm Isaiah Duran, and I'll be providing you with updates on the coronavirus pandemic. This first graph represents the number of daily cases reported to the CDC in the United States. As you may notice, there is a significant drop in comparison to the previous months. This map, represents the level of community transmission in San Bernardino County and is described to be at a moderate level represented by the yellow shading. The cases per 100,000 is between 0 0.01 and 10 and is represented by the light green shading in this map. Although we seem to be reaching an overall decrease and the vaccines are being distributed, it is important to remember to wear a mask, wash your hands, remain six feet away from others, and avoid big crowds. Thank you. Next with the birthday shout outs is Krista Gutierrez. Hi, I'm Krista Gutierrez and I'm here to announce the birthday shout outs for March for the following people. We have Mark Garcia, Hugo Martinez, Elizabeth Ortiz, Daisy Lopez, Christian Continero, Alex Solis, Marlene Persino, Jonathan Barbine, Daniel Ramirez, Rachel Ruiz, Carlos Camacho, Elizabeth Ibarra, and Bradley Rommel. Thank you. Hi, Yellow Jackets. My name is Karen Gallegos, and I'm here with this week's weather. So from Sunday, March 21st through Friday the 26th, we're supposed to be in the high 60s, low 70s. Sunday, we're going to be at 64. Monday, 66. Tuesday, 68. Wednesday, we're going up 72 degrees. Thursday and Friday, we're dropping back down to 70 degrees. At night, we're supposed to be in the high 40s, so around 46 and 48 degrees. Still very cold. Please wear sweaters. Try not to get sick. Be safe, Yellow Jackets. And here's Anthony Corral with sports updates. Hello, I'm Anthony Corral, and I'm here with your CIF slash sports updates. This week, we are starting our conditioning practices for Season 2 outdoor sports. Baseball, softball, tennis, track and field, swim, soccer, and cheer. We will be practicing over spring break as well, so if you have not be yet been cleared and are hoping to start, make sure you visit www.athleticclearance.com and complete the process as soon as you can. If you are unable to attend your first practice by Friday the 26th, you probably won't be able to play with us this year. So if you can't get an appointment to get your physical right away, consider going to to the sport clinic in Riverside or Fox Occupational Medical Center. Both of those places have de designated times when you get your physical without an appointment. Make sure you call them before visiting or go to their website and find out those times. For our sports not clear currently cleared, to begin practicing football, volleyball, cross country, basketball, and wrestling, we have not forgotten about you. I am doing my best to propose to district leadership that we begin 
having you kids on campus sometime in April to begin training as well. Stay patient. And for all you student athletes, make sure you work hard and get your grades up. Now with your student of the month highlight, Krista Gutierrez. Hi, I'm Krista, and for student of the month of this week, we have Alyssa Frinko for Honors English 2, Jose Rubacalba for Algebra 2, Kendall Connor for Overall Dia. Congratulations. And now we have Hunter Kelly for Newsflash. In Yellow Jackets, I am Hunter Kelly with the this week's Newsflash. This week's Newsflash is about the winners and results from this or that survey from last week. Here are the results from this or that survey. Hello Yellow Jackets, I'm Nico Cisneros, and after tying the nominations for each category, for Mr. Yellow Jacket, the five nominees are Isaac Moreno, John Aguilar, Isaiah Duran, Robert Rodriguez, and Adrian Archinaga. For Miss Yellow Jacket, the five nominees are Crystal Castro, Jocelyn Jason, Catalina Guillen, Daisy Najar, and Samantha Ruiz. These nominees will all have a chance to share the reason on why they should be Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket. Those videos will air on April 16th. The ballot will also open April 16th and close April 23rd at 3 p.m. And now here's to Robert Williams with this week's special story. Hi, my name is Robert Williams. Want to get paid at school? The cafeteria is now taking applications for student workers for the next school year. Students must be 16 years old or at least 10th grade who is responsible, dependable, punctual, neatly groomed with, a, with good attendance, and at least a 2.5 GPA or higher. Student workers must and will be willing to take fourth period work experience and attend zero or seventh period class once a week, pays $14 an hour. If interested, fill out the attached application and email it back to Ms. Brown no later than Friday, April 16th. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Hunter Kelly. And this week's staff of the month is Mr. Wurz. Here is Mr. Wurz with a few words. Hi, my name is Tom Wurz. I teach graphic communications. I'm really honored to be named staff of the month. We're in this pandemic, we have a lot of challenges, so this award means a lot to me. Thank you, Mr. Wars. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. The material pickup days are Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Rancho Bluffs Loading Zone. Seniors, if you haven't picked up your gift from CHS, which was a t-shirt and a yard sign, please do so at the Rancho Bluffs Loading Zone. The senior lanyards will be mailed out soon. Remember that the schools will be closed for spring break, so the next pickup day will be April 5th. The grab-and-go meals are available Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Darcy, Bernie, Grant, Wilson, Jabaka Middle School, Zimmerman, Cooley Ranch, Bloomington High School, Rogers, Lewis, Lincoln, McKinley, Crestmore, Grand Terrace High School, and Grand Terrace Elementary. Now, Isaiah Duran. Thank you. This has been Colton Heights' very own. I am Isaiah Duran, and on behalf of our team, we are pleased to provide you with accurate and weekly news. Thank you, and take care, Yellow Jackets.